This course is brought to you by AppyPy as part of our Academy series. Okay, so once you have created your Instagram account, you'll realize that there's so many different types of posts you can make on Instagram. Even though there's just images and videos, there's so many different styles and creative formats you can put into your posts that it's just crazy. So I'm gonna list a few for you so that you can just get an idea of how many different types there are. So yeah, let's get straight into it. So images, first of all, we have behind the scenes posts. These are images which are behind the scenes of your business, say for example, I make online courses, so I could do posts of my computer screen when I am creating a course. So I could take a picture of my recording software and my microphone and something like that, and that's behind the scenes, basically. I could even do a video of that. A behind the scenes video, I'd say, is much better than a behind the scenes picture for me personally, but it all depends what you are doing. So yeah, behind the scenes. Number two, a repost from employees. So for example, if you have many employees and you're a small company, maybe not a large, large company, but if you're a small company and you have employees who are also posting, it's always great to do reposts from them as well. So yeah, that's that. That just helps promote the business and promote your employees as well. So that is absolutely awesome. Number three, educational posts. So you could do videos for this, but pictures are also helpful. So for example, if you are saying how to cook eggs or how to scramble eggs, you could do a quick video on it. But pictures are also helpful because you could do a, like a three-step guide with text on the picture and things like that as well. And that is very helpful and it will get a lot of engagement to that post as well. So that is absolutely fantastic. Number four, influencer posts. So what an influencer is, someone with more followers than you that you can use to promote your products and services. Say for example, if I paid a YouTuber or any famous person, famous on Instagram anyway, that has a lot of followers, I can then have many, many people see my products and services. And yeah, so influencer posts basically mean someone that has more followers than you, you pay them and they do a post promoting your products and services for you. So yeah, that's that, that is influencer posts. Number five, motivational posts. So this is mainly images and mainly in the form of text. So an image with text on it, and this can be quotes or just text, anything really, which will motivate people. So for example, a really, really inspiring quote, which will motivate people to have a better life and make them a lot happier. And that will also get a lot of engagement because it'll make people think, oh, that's nice. And it will just make them like the photo or video, depending on what you've done. And yeah, it will help you grow your engagement on your page. That's great. Number six, user generated content. Now this is mainly images of your pets or you having lunch or anything like that. And this is more personal. This is more personal images. And for example, you could use the hashtag puppy and many other hashtags to do with dogs. And then you can put an image of your nice puppy or dog. And yeah, that will get you lots of engagement for animal lovers and things like that. Or if you are eating your dinner and it's a really nice meal and you're at a lovely restaurant or something like that, you can use hashtags and you can also put your location of the restaurant and everything like that as well. So that is fantastic. And finally, number seven. Now this is, there's not a particular name for this, but this basically is posting for different holidays. For example, Christmas, New Year, or National Sibling Day, or National Ice Cream Day, anything like that. So for example, say it's National Ice Cream Day or National Dog Day, you can post a picture of ice cream and use the hashtag National Ice Cream Day and many other hashtags to do with it. And it will generate a ton of engagement throughout the app. So yeah, that's absolutely awesome and that is another great idea just by posting on certain holidays and certain days which are national days. So for example, National Sibling Day. So take a picture of your brother or sister and post that using the hashtags as well. And there's probably many other types of posts you can post as well, but that's just a few. That's just the basics and that's just the first few you can think about posting. So yeah, that's that. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. I hope you learned a lot and I hope you had a good time. Goodbye.